What is up, guys? My name's Sam Yen. My name is Yen. I play The Sims. Did you see what I did there? I know you did, so stop capping, all right? Anyway, guys, so I know when you look up The Sims and you look up Mac players, we're not there. So now, granted, if you are still a PC player, this information is gonna be still be, like, this is my, mostly focused on people with Macs because I know how hard it is to, like, look for something and then you have to type in and Mac and Mac and Mac. Now, hear me out, because console, please don't come for me because I used to be console, okay? So do not come for me in the comments because I used to be console and now I got a Mac and I feel like with sim players, they have this hierarchy of like PC, Mac users, console. And we will not stand for this, okay? I will be an advocate for everyone, all right? Anyway, anyway, so we are here and I have a couple of things that I do want to talk about. So, like I said, if you have a Mac, you can still play with Origin. I do know recently there was a whole thing where Origin, it was actually shutting down for PC players. That was for spe that was specifically for PC and not Mac. Um, Mac users are still able to do this. I do know I heard that some people are having trouble starting Sims 3. I haven't actually tried to start Sims 3 um, with ever since the update, so... I don't know about that issue, but I do know that I can still play my Sims 4 with no issue on my Mac. This is one of the very few times where I was so thankful that I'm a Mac player. Now, the second thing I do want to get into is mods. Now, with mods comes a bunch of stuff. There's a couple of things that we personally cannot do on a Mac when it comes down to mods. So, this is G-Shade. If you guys aren't familiar with G-Shade, G-Shade is basically reshading your whole game to make it look better. A lot of times, The Sims is very bland and it's not as saturated or beautiful or as like aesthetic as you would like. You can even see here on some of the on, on some of the tutorials of like you ever seen people with with really like detailed 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 stuff this is what I mean now personally we can't do it there is a way to like break your game or break your computer into being able to do it and there is a tutorial down for this and I will actually link it down below but guys it is way too many steps personally for me if it's not I'll link it down below and let you guys do it on your own I have no idea I've never tried this I'm just letting you guys know if you guys are really 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 into G shade and you really want that difference and you know that detail I will link it down below let me know how it goes I'm not doing it it's just doing too much i felt like the viola davis meme where she was picking up the suitcase and she was like no ma'am i'm not doing that that's how i felt and that's how i still feel anyway okay so with that being said another alternative is tech hippies um replacements so if you guys aren't familiar with tech hippie uh, i mean absolute amazing even if you do not have um even if you still have a pc i still advise everyone to get this it makes such a difference in your game you actually see detail within it and it just makes everything look a little bit more realistic and not so play-doh looking instead of like like the sims just gives off very play-doh kidsy children's vibe you can even literally see a complete difference in these screenshots of how detailed the world looks now and i advise 110 percent of you guys to get this because it just makes sense and honestly if we can't have have you know reshade or g-shade we can at least have this okay so i am here for it and it the, it has so many different ones. I'm actually going to link the and everything's going to be in the description of the web websites that I am talking about. So when it comes down to even a little bit more detail, because a lot of people look at my carpet and be like, how does your carpet look so crazy and so neat and so detailed? This go, this, this, this is all it. I'm telling you guys makes such a difference when it comes down to, and I have every single one of these installed. Another thing is now, now that I did mention mods, I do want to mention some side mods that I think would be interesting for you guys. Now, again, all mods are most are cost compliant compatible between PC and Mac but I do want to go ahead and say that these mods specifically and I'll make a whole mods video on mods I think that people should have these mods specifically I feel like are really good just for everyone to have in general whether you're a PC or Mac player or not now I am going to get into detail about how exactly I do and input my mods and where I do it and how I store my CC files to help you guys out so the first um, and, and that might be an, another video I'm just not sure yet the first one I do want to cover though is for MC command center and MC command center is basically just a game changer when it comes down to being able to do different things it makes the game easier and more smoother and i feel like this should have been in the game to begin with what along with like you know how they have cheat codes i feel like they should have been able to have this so mc command center and then also snb bank mods um this one is also just a banking mod game and this is very helpful as far as being able to have like you know government assistance programs managing utilities home servicing child support you know you can apply for well fund for your family and, and then you can also of course have banks and i just think this is something that should have been added because or at least come like in a, like another pack that we've had like maybe get to work this should have been perfect with the get to work but for some reason it didn't now if you guys are asking why i talk so fast this is just how i talk i literally naturally talk this fast and a lot of people are always like you talk so fast you talk so fast i don't know the only thing i can tell you guys is to literally get your youtube video and honestly press the button where it makes it slower i know some people said that they've done that with my videos because i talk so fast but honestly when i'm really passionate about something and i really like talking to you guys 
I don't know. Y'all tell me. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. I'm trying. I really, like, literally, I'm going to try so hard. Look, look, this is how I read. I'm super excited to release the first version of the additional to the SMB mod, Bills. This edition is an initial project, and I think it has to do with the way my brain runs, because my brain is always on go. And I feel like it, it shows when I'm talking. But anyway, guys, so as you guys can see, again, the SMB mod, there is another one where I think Iron Siegel had a video on this where he goes more into detail with this entire video. And honestly, definitely recommend this. Literally goes in, shows what you can do. Honestly, if you go onto the site, of course, it's going to have everything. Again, I'll link that down below. Another one I want to mention is UI Extension Cheats Mod, where you can do a bunch of different things as well. And then, of course, Ravishing just, is just an awesome CC creator who is able to download. You, There's just so many things to download when it comes down to all the stuff that she makes. Her website is literally like a store. I love it so much. And let me know down below in the comments, again, if you guys want to see a mods video. And then also, Maxis Match CC World has everything you need, of course, when it comes down to everything. Now, of course, I will eventually make a video on this. And maybe it'll come out later this week. I also want to mention Simmon, My Best Life. This is also great for those who want more of an urban lifestyle when it comes down to, aka, a more black and relatable style um, in their households and who don't mind a little bit of more alpha into their CC clutter. And I just, yeah. This is all going to be in another video as well. I'm going to go into more detail about that, but I do want to plug those in just really quick. Now, the next thing I do want to get into is my CC folder. Now, if you guys look at my desktop here, yes, I did this myself. Okay, it was hard. It wasn't really that hard. I literally just went on Pinterest, put a bunch of pictures together, went on Canva, put all those pictures on there, and now it looks cute and aesthetic. Okay, so what I do right here is I have The Sims, and here it is right here. Now, if you guys are wondering why I even have uh, The Sims 4 on my Mac, it's because I originally bought this computer to do film and if a lot of people don't know I actually do my own um, short films and I'm also an actress out here in LA so amongst other things but yes I act out here in LA and I originally got this for editing and then I downloaded The Sims 4 on computer just to see what it was like ended up loving it made a channel out of it and now here we are so this is why I have a Mac if I knew intentionally that I was gonna have a gaming channel I would have originally bought a PC I would have I'm not gonna even lie to y'all I would and I still am and I do plan on like you know the further and more of my channel grows I do plan on getting a bigger um, computer just to help more with everything so I do also want to get into the fact that this is how I organize all of my stuff I have the sims 4 folder right so everything is right here when you go into sims cc sim cc copy right here this is a copy of everything I have in my actual game so if I go if you go to your documents in your folder you're gonna see documents you're gonna see electric um ele electric arts you click electric arts you click the sims 4 you go all the way down to mods and then this is where all your mods are going to be located. Some of this is a little wonky because, again, I it's been a while since I actually went through and been like, okay, let me put everything up and let me, like, manage everything better. And this is what we're working with. Now, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail when I do do another. But anyway, when I do down, do that vid I did it again. When I do the video, um, you guys will see more of it. But I do want to go in and say, okay, so since this is the CC copy, I always try and make sure... My CC copy is up to date. It's not up to date right now, and you know how I can tell? So, if I grab 42 items, 55 gigabytes, I know, that's insane, and I know I definitely have more than that now, and I go and select all of these items right here. I have 60 gigabytes, and that doesn't make any sense because on this one it says 55. So, therefore, in my CC copies list, I am going to actually delete everything, and I know you guys are like, what? Yin, what are you doing? What are you doing? I am going to copy this. This is out of my actual game folder in The Sims 4. And I'm going to move this over onto my actual desktop and make a copy of it because, guys, you never know what happens with The Sims 4. When The Sims 4 updates, you just, you can't be too not sure. You know what I mean? You don't want to accidentally be like, all my mods are gone, something happened with The Sims 4 update, and now everything is trash and gone, and I can't, I don't know what to do. Back up your CC files and back up your save files. And I'm actually going to show you guys how to really quickly back up your save files as well once this finishes copying. And so I'm going to actually did this because I haven't done this in like literally two months and because I'm doing this video I'm doing it so thank y'all okay this is for y'all y'all help me out low-key y'all don't even know what y'all help me out and I appreciate y'all so we're gonna go ahead and, and put everything together 6.3 60.3 in matches so everything actually transferred over now I do go into detail um with also I, wait, really quick I want to show you guys the save files so if you guys go down here it's the same folder, The Sims 4, and under a little bit more under mods, you're going to see saves. This is all your save files. You're going to want to select all of this and put it in another folder. Now, if you guys go to my Sims folder, I have a backup saves file section. This is my Sims 4 backup saves file section where I put every, where I back up everything because I am terrified of The Sims 4 trashing my game. 
terrified, completely terrified. Um, anyway, let's go back to what I actually mean by how I um, go into detail with my folders. So basically, I have scripted, unscripted, wallpaper, UI extension sheets. There are certain ones, when it's a script mod and it's pretty big, such as like the Woohoo, the MC Command Center, I usually leave that in its own folder and leave it in there. But if it's like maybe create a sim, um, women or men, Chris and men, I, I literally go into detail with it. I go that far and like, this is all the hairs that I have for them. Um, this is all the facial makeup. Now, this not, it doesn't look like a lot, but that's just because it's, it's the, it's the men section. If you go to create a sim woman, let's see. It gets a little crazy because as we know, I have way more fun just making women uh, CC sims than I do males. And I'm trying, I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone and make more CC males, but I'm just not gonna lie. Like I'm a woman, what do you expect from me, okay? Anyway, so that's gonna be that, okay? I do wanna go and bring up the fact that the sims, people are saying that they have trouble with, so again, I wanna bring up the fact that people are saying they're having trouble with the sims 3. Let's see how much trouble people are actually having with it. I'm clicking sims 3 and I'm I am going to see if there's an issue with it. Okay, so we're back and it literally stopped recording the entire thing and it actually does not work. What the hell? I paid my hard earned money for that and I do not know why that's not working. So I'm gonna have to actually contact customer service and EA because they got me all the way messed up because um, that was my coins. So why doesn't that work? That's so weird. I don't know why that doesn't work. I My Sims 4 game works, my Sims 3 doesn't work. I wonder why, that's really actually really interesting and I kinda wanna get into that a little bit more. So another thing I really do wanna get into is controls. So controls are not gonna be the same as, as PC as it is gonna be on Mac. For some odd reason, and especially for my um, desktop or my keyboard, this is my keyboard, it is the, don't know. Um, I got it as a gift from my fiance, but this is a, um, this is a different keyboard than the normal ones, and on top of that, it's just a different, and for some reason, it's gonna be a little different. So, for, I advise you guys, screenshot this. This is gonna be your fr best friend, screenshot this, because it's gonna help a lot when it comes down to trying to figure out how to do stuff. Again, Google is gonna be your best friend when it comes down to Mac. I'm not gonna cover everything and every question that you guys have, and someone else will, because, Again, I'm only one person, so there's only but so much I can do, but I wanted to share my experiences when it comes down to all this stuff. And again, I'm going to do a separate video more so on mods. I know if you guys want like a detailed one on like how I download mods, or maybe I'll just do a CC shopping day. That'll be really fun if you guys are really interested in that. And um, I can go more into detail of what I do. That is all for today. And I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you didn't, I apologize. Actually, I don't apologize because at the end of the day, I was just trying to help you. So if, you, if you're mad, stay mad because that's disrespectful. You clicked on this video, not me. I knew about this. I'm helping you out. So why am I apologizing? Let's really talk about it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We are on the road to 10K. And if you guys do want to join the Yin Yang fam, go ahead and comment down below um, any questions that you guys have. And also, it really helps my channel if you guys leave a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy this and really it did something for you. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.